Good evening to all our CLC members and everybody watching with us. Tonight I want to talk to you about spiritual warfare, or in most simpler terms, the battle of angels. The book of Daniel has got a specific example of spiritual warfare. In chapter 10, Daniel describes how he set himself to pray and see God for a revelation concerning the people of Israel. Daniel 10 verses 2 to 6 states the following. In those days, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three entire weeks. I did not eat any tasty food, nor did meat or wine enter my mouth, nor did I use any ointment at all, until the three entire weeks were completed. And on the twenty-fourth day of the first month, while I was the bank of the great river, that is the Tigris, I lifted my eyes, and look, and behold, there was a certain man dressed in linen, whose waist was gridded with a belt of pure gold. His body also was like beryl, his face had the appearance of lightning, his eyes were like flaming torches, his arms and feet like the gleam of polished bronze, and the sound of his words like the sound of tumult. Then that angel began to speak to Daniel, and the part I want to focus on is verses 12 and 13. Then he said, Be not afraid, Daniel, for from this first day that you set your heart and understanding, on understanding this and on humbling yourself before God, your words were heard, and I have come to respond to those words. The important thing to see is that on the first day that Daniel started praying, his prayers was heard and the angel was dispatched with the answer. However, the angel did not arrive on earth with Daniel for three entire weeks, 21 days. Verse 13 then continues with the following. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia was withstanding me for 21 days. So it took the angel 21 days because he had resisted an opposition in the heavenlies. Then behold, Michael, one of the chief princes for archangels, came to help me, for I had been left there with the kings of Persia. All this that we read here took place in the heavenly realms. The leader of Satan, which is called the prince of the kingdom of Persia, was withstanding or was obstructing the angel to get to Daniel. Then God sent somebody, which is the archangel Michael, to come and assist the original angel. So we have the kingdom of Persia, or the prince of the kingdom of Persia, on Satan's side and Michael on God's side. Daniel 12 verse 1 says, Now at that time Michael the great prince who stands God over the sons of your people will arise. The effect of Daniel's prayers is staggering. When Daniel started to pray on earth, it set heaven in motion, both the angels of God as well as the angel of Satan. This gives us terrific insight into what prayer can do. I'm also very impressed by the fact that God's angels apparently needed the help of Daniel's prayers to get him through and accomplish their mission. So it's very important when we start praying and the answer doesn't come quickly or in the way that we want it to come, that we keep on praying so we can assist those angels with the spiritual warfare that they are fighting to get to us so that we can get the answer that we're praying for. So this just shows us the great tremendous insight into the effectiveness of prayer and how our prayer can assist us with the spiritual warfare happening around us and in the heavenlies.